hi to all my youtube followers uh, visit kmasters.online website or download kmasters mobile app from google play stores to get more sample videos and join your course on csarnet or gate chemistry or jl dl iit chemistry if you are interested okay right and uh, the strengths of our chemistry start online is we can produce the advanced chemistry with simple concepts in simple words and one can crack his or her exam with ease by approaching chemistry start online we can give assurance for it thank you now we are discussing on asymmetric amino hydroxylation of alkenes just observe this is the olefinic substrate that is trans olefinic substrate and whenever reacting with this uh, reaction conditions just observe x n c l n a so here simply it is uh, from chloramine t and uh, here x indicates in this reagent as maybe tosyl group or mesetyl or cbz or boc etc okay or we may use another uh, reagent here that means uh, with uh, n bromolithium okay so that x may be acetyl group okay and with the reaction combination with reagent that is modified osmium reagent with the uh, ligand if you use DHQ2PHAL here, what is the full form of it? Base dihydroquinoline thalazide. Okay, and with the uh, one is to one ratios of alcohol in water. Uh, in these conditions, the amino hydroxylation takes place, and that is syn addition. Okay, as just like dihydroxylation, what we have discussed in the previous lecture. And uh, so syn, that means uh, amino hydroxylation on the alkenes is also syn addition. Okay, right. And if we, if you observe the reaction, that means uh, the products, they are having hydroxy group and uh, amino groups from the bottom side onto the substrate. Okay, bottom side on the pro given product okay right so that is the amino hydroxylation on the olefin is directed by the ligands which we have used if we use dhq2phal that is based dihydroquinoline palazide with this reaction conditions then the attack on the olefin is from bottom side or from alpha phase or simply alpha amino hydroxylation takes place whenever we use dhq2 thalazide okay right and if you use the, the other ligand that is dhqd2 phal so its full form is simply dihydroquinolidine here bis dihydroquinolidine thalazide okay so whenever we use this uh, ligand the attack or amino hydroxylation from beta phase or top or from the top phase onto the olefinic substrate okay right so before that we need to take the olefin in a proper arrangement okay to determine the uh, major enantiomeric product when we apply these re these uh, uh, ligands with the given reaction conditions okay right and first thing is we need to arrange the given olefinic substrate onto the plane and after that we need to take the large group on the olefinic carbon should be uh, at bottom left position on the plane and the smaller group should be taken on top left position on the plane and then the medium group on the olefinic carbon should be taken on top right side position and the hydrogen should be taken on 
uh, right side bottom position on the plane here we have taken try substituted and this reaction is uh, reaction works well on di substituted and try substituted okay so whenever we have uh, try substituted so this is the proper arrangement in di substituted so here we should have hydrogen okay so the, um, this reaction is not very good for tetra substituted because the position where uh, uh, where the hydrogen is there on the plane in this uh, uh, in this substrate so that position is very hindered okay strongly hindered position and if we take any group that means a four uh, or tetra substituted olefinic substrate the reaction may not be possible or it, it doesn't produce enantiomeric excess okay right because this position is very hindered just observe the topmost or the top left position is uh, less hindered because the we, we are arranged the small smaller group at the place on the plane okay right and the medium group should be on the top right side now this is the place a, a very good for uh, aromatic and alkyl substituents okay on the olefin that means the aromatic and uh, alkyl substituents of the olefin should be taken on left side bottom and on the plane okay right and just remember the right side bottom position is very hindered in this arrangement so the steric areas which are given on this arrangement of olefin on the plane is determined by the structures of uh, ligands which we have using in this reaction okay that means the organic part of the of this reaction and uh, that means the ligands can produce stronger steric um, repulsions to the right side bottom end okay so that's why this is very least uh, this is st um, strongly hindered position okay right and after arranging the olefin in this manner only we can apply uh, this uh, pneumatic model that means the dhqd to phl always attacks from beta phase or top phase onto the olefin in this in this uh, type of arrangement and uh, dhq to phl attack from bottom phase or alpha phase onto the olefinic plane okay so the ion produces that is the major product okay so that is alpha amino hydroxylation should be the major product um, on these conditions now just observe the reaction here and uh, the reaction works better with smaller n substituents that means if n may be connected with uh, methyl sulfonyl groups or less smaller groups and uh, even better with salts of n halo carbamates okay and uh, or n uh, halo amides if present uh, with the nitrogen uh, connected with nitrogen on the olefinic substrate then the reaction works better because those uh, uh, branches will be easily deprotected uh, deprotonated uh, they can be easily cleaved from the product to produce simple amino uh, hydroxylated enantiomer uh, pro products in this reaction okay right the the problem of this reaction is regio control because if we have if we consider dihydroxylation the two hydroxy groups going to be uh, placed on the two sp2 carbons of olefin right but there will be no differentiation on addition of the two hydroxy group because they are same right but in this reaction we have one hydroxy group and one is nh group they are different that means the regio selectivity plays major role in this reaction and uh, the regio control is uh, not the best for this reaction Be, uh, for particularly for olefin olefinic substituents which may not be electronically differentiated okay so just observe this uh, olefinic substrate and which has electronically differentiated substrates one is benzene that means phenyl group and one is uh, ester group on different uh, positions of the uh, carbons of uh, olefinic carbons okay and uh, they can be easily uh, differentiated in the products as regio um, regio products okay regio selective product just observe the, uh, these two in the in the first uh, regio product we have 
uh, NH or amino with uh, CBZ protecting group uh, at the benzylic position. But if you observe another product, Rijer product, we have hydroxy group at uh, benzylic position. Okay, that means simply they are regio selective products, right? And the regio selectivity is differentiated whenever we have electronically differentiated uh, or distinguished substituents on the olefin. Okay, so if we apply DHQ to pH here, that is base dihydroquinoline thalazide. If we applied on this substrate, the major product is this one. Okay, at benzylic position, we have NHCBZ. Okay, and if we apply DHQ to AQN, so the uh, major product uh, is this one that means at benzylic position we have OH group okay so this can be a differentiated based on this uh, ligands because um, if the uh, olefinic substrate has electronically differentiated uh, substrates on it but if electronically substrates uh, differentiated substrates are not there on the olefin then the regio control is uh, not uh, uh, not good for those reactions that means in the place of uh, this here here if the two groups are same and they may not be electronically differentiated the regio control is difficult in the energy energy products of this reaction okay right thank you